You've invested well, you've saved well, and now you want to retire and you want to have fun, which you are allowed to do. Now, how do you have the most fun? Well, you have fulfilling activities that you are looking forward to. In today's video, I'm gonna go over five activities that you can utilize to have the most fun in retirement. And in retirement, you know I'm all about an early retirement. Not because I'm in love with early retirement, but because I'm in love with you being able to do more with your money. What if you could retire a few years earlier and take more more trips or have more time with family or do more things that are important to you. So let's hop right in. Number one is what if you could live somewhere new? Now a quick story on this is that I have a few clients now, lovely clients, and I will of course not say their real names, but let's call them John and Julie. And John and Julie were so excited about retirement and they've been putting off so many hobbies that they love doing because they were working hard. Now if that sounds like you, well then keep watching this video. If it doesn't sound like you, stay tuned because I promise I have a few other examples that I hope will resonate. But John and Julie, they moved to Hawaii and they said, you know what, we've been waiting, we just cannot wait to move to Hawaii, and they did. And then all of a sudden, they went, Ari, this was fun for two, three weeks, but I don't wanna live here forever. So a piece of advice, practice retirement before you do it. Now, one thing is do consider living somewhere in more than just a week or two weeks or three weeks, but consider living somewhere for a few months to really get into the culture, really understand the food and the people and really what makes that place so special. So do that, but I advise having a home base for that feeling of, hey, if you don't love it, you can come back to it. As opposed to saying, hey, we're gonna pack all our bags and head for this new life. If that's something you're interested in, wonderful. Not saying don't do it, but certainly make sure that you're saying, hey, is this something that we wanna do short term for fun, exploratory reasons, or are we trying to make a long-term shift? So just something to be wary of and something to be excited about. Number two is be a mentor. The reality is if you are retiring earlier, you are not a superior person per se, but you have superior skills in the sense of you've saved well and invested well and you have things to teach people. And the reality is you probably have a career where you did really, really well. And now you want other people to understand how they can also do well to be in a position like you someday. So consider being a mentor and there are so many wonderful services where you can do that. Now that can either be locally, it can just be virtually. Most of my clients I work with virtually and so this is something that if you go, hey, I wanna give back, but not just giving back financially, but with your time, you can mentor people to be in a spot just like you one day. If you're looking for an exact program of where you can do this, if you do want a mentor, there's a service called Better Up. Now, I personally have not used it, but I have clients who have used it and they've had a great experience. So Better Up is an example. If you say, hey, I wanna be a mentor, you could of course go into your local community or you could sign up there to become a mentor. Number three is get a part-time job that you enjoy. Now, in an early retirement, you know I talk about health insurance a lot because until Medicare kicks in at 65, we need coverage. And are we gonna get it from a spouse? Maybe you're retiring with your spouse and it's, hey, we need a plan for both of us. Part-time income, if you enjoy it, can be a huge, huge benefit financially. But that's not even why I bring it up right now. I bring it up right now because there might be a job that you go, hey, I've always just loved the idea of having a no, or call it low pressure job where maybe you're working at Starbucks or you're doing something else at the golf shop or you're just having that job that's not stressful, brings in a little bit of extra cash and it's just something that you've always kind of wanted to do. It just looked fun. Well, this is your encouragement to go consider thinking about those now. Maybe you're five or 10 or 15 years out from retirement, or maybe you're thinking about it right now. Wherever you are, start thinking about what would be fun. It's not even about having it perfect right now. It's about having a sense of, here's what I wanna look forward to. One day I am gonna work at the golf shop, or I'm excited to be able to go fishing more and teach other people how to do it, or just something to look forward to. It makes going to work every day so much easier. I cannot tell you that my clients Tell me this all the time. Now, one other thing with part-time income is people go, Ari, what difference does it make? I was making $200,000, $300,000 in my peak earnings years, and now we're talking about $30,000 or $40,000, if that. Well, the reality is it doesn't seem like much, but it's not 30 or 40,000, that's so wonderful. What's amazing is, hey, if there's medical benefits, great. But number two is that's 30 or 40,000 that doesn't have to come from your portfolio, which if you have a million or two million bucks in there, the reality is that makes a big difference because it's 30 or 40,000 that doesn't come from your portfolio, allowing that to continue and compound, which is gonna yield a much, much higher return than of course, if you didn't work. But the difference is people go, Ari, it can't make a big difference. The reality is, 
being able to take less from your portfolio, allowing that to compound, that is the best financial move you can likely make at this point. Number four, and this might be a surprising one to you, and it came from a client. Once again, a client, this is how I come up with a lot of these videos. They suggest, Ari, go make sure everyone knows about this or tell them about this one thing that if I wish I knew it would have been so helpful. Well, they told me to tell everyone to start a YouTube channel. Yes, seriously, start a YouTube channel just like I have right here. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's something to do with your daughter. Maybe it's something to do with your son or your spouse. And you go, hey, we've got things we wanna share. And while we're in retirement, we're traveling. We wanna show people how we're doing it. You can use services like Fiverr or Upwork to help edit so that you don't actually have to be doing a lot of that work. And it can be very affordable at a great, not just great price, but at a great value point. So consider a YouTube channel. What's something, and I tell my clients this, I go, let's say you don't wanna be on camera or you don't wanna start a YouTube channel. What's something you're really passionate about that you would start a YouTube channel on? Not saying you have to, but you love it that much that you would. What is that thing? And people go, oh, you know, I love wood chopping, or you know what, I just love the idea of being able to fish, and, and just these are things I'm so passionate about. Well, if that's it, you don't have to go make a channel about it, but maybe even film it with a camera so you can pass that down to grandchildren so that you can tell your children, you know, hey, pass this film or these audio clips or whatever it is, something so that it can be a legacy play as well. It's just something fun and it might seem weird in the moment, but my parents, they do this and, and they film themselves doing things that they enjoy. And it's fun because right now I don't have children, but when I do, I wanna be able to show them that. And number five is go take classes. Yes, literally go to a university, take classes that seem even somewhat interesting. One, my clients have told me it's just nice being around that environment, seeing people learn and really going back to point two on mentoring. What if there's someone that asks a question that intrigues you and it intrigues you so much, you go, hey, I'd love to mentor that person. Go up to them and go, hey, what's your major? What are you interested in? How can I help you get an internship? Nothing feels as good as giving back and you don't know it maybe as much as you may think. I'm literally talking to all of you right now, but if you have retired early or you're in a position to, you are in the 1%. No one else is really doing probably as much. Now there's some people who are doing a good job, but the reality is you are, are on the top and that is very special and people wanna be in your position more than you know. I get comments on my podcast, on my YouTube, of how do I become just like those people that you say, you know, submit questions or those people that have a few million dollars. Like you've done a really good job and people wanna learn from you. So kindly, you know, give back, of course, if you want to, if that's of interest to you. But those are the five main tips. And to summarize, number one, live somewhere. It can be short-term, medium-term, long-term. Number two, be a mentor. It can be so rewarding. Number three, look at part-time jobs. Look at part-time income that would excite you. Number four is start a YouTube channel, or at least think about, hey, if you were to start a YouTube channel, what would that be on? And maybe it's something you pass on to grandchildren or children, and maybe it's private. Maybe you never even make it public, but just consider doing something different. Something could be very fun. And number five, go take classes at a local university or at a church, or just something that would really make you feel fulfilled and excited to go to every day. That is it for the five tips. Comment below which tip made you think a little differently or, or was something you hadn't quite heard before. I wanna create the most you know, comprehensive feedback so that people understand how they can have their dream retirement. My goal, if you don't already know it, I want as many people as possible to know when they are in a position to retire early, which is when work becomes optional. Now, if you love what you do, great, keep doing it. But if you don't love what you do, understand when you're in a position where you no longer need to. I help people by helping them invest their assets, by having a tax strategy, by getting their estate plan set up. And if that's something that you're interested in, I love retirement planning. If you cannot tell, feel free to reach out to me directly. I'd be happy to have that first conversation. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If any other questions come up, leave a comment or you can email me directly at ari at rootfinancialpartners.com. And I've also included a few bonus pieces for you. You can see my ebook, which is in the description below, as well as a free tax guide for 2023. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you don't know, I am the host of the Early Retirement Podcast, and this is what I love doing. I help people create a custom strategy to retire early. You can always reach out to me or a member of our team here at Root, and we would be happy to walk you through our planning process to show you how we can help you get more life out of your money.